a new package and uh, uh, the company is so new that they they have a light version but they plan on uh, implementing a, 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 a what do you call it a, a professional version soon and I'm going to import this in and this is called the uh, lip sync uh, simple lip sync demo and and it includes a uh, a few FBX lip syncs. So I'm going to go into scenes to show you the default scenes. They're pretty cute. Um, and so, um, let's see if this is it. Yeah. I have to go for an examination. There's an old saying in Tennessee. I know it's a mess from Tennessee. So they're pretty crude, but let me, let me go through some of these ones as a final theory today. Um, you've got Pac-Man here. And Pac-Man, <laughs> or the Walmart smiley, but Pac-Man's got a what's called a bottom object, and if you look in the right um, here closely, there's three scripts. There's a sync um, audio script, and and all it's doing is working with the bottom object to make it go like this. Okay, it's actually, and you can actually exaggerate. Watch, I can take the scale and make it 30 times. What I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial today, I'm going to take off Cube Man and Skull Cranium Head, which would be cool for you, uh, Alex make your guy talk and in unity and have it out real time in your por portfolio would be cool but this is just the potato head when it so watch this there's an old saying in tennessee i know it's in texas probably in tennessee this so and if you look at this rotate head uh just let me get the right font in here so you can see the missing font it's click face to replay for this one but if you look at this head and the components of it you can actually go in and change the motion scale so you've seen there a 30, and I'm going to go to 3. So all the scripting's done. So watch what happens at a 3 scale when I click on this. There's editor. an old saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas. What probably. do you notice about it? That, oh, watch. I'll go. Yeah, it doesn't go. So if you go 30, watch. There's an old saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas. Now, probably. I know it's crude. It's just a simple head. But you could have some of these guys flying around. I'm going to eat you or whatever. I don't know. But anyways. Uh, but anyway, he's like, I, I just wanted to show you Pac-Man. Then you got this little cube man. I'll show you a cube man here. Um, and he's uh, a little different because if you notice, um, he's got um, the same thing. If you go into the hierarchy of the cube man, he's got two eyes, but he's got a mouth container with a lower lip, and he's got the same script. And if you look at playing this, watch. I welcome this kind of examination. There's no old guy, no thing. And so this one here, let me take this one off here. Uh, this one's still on here. But anyways, this here uh, is another example, and you can go in here and exaggerate this with the script. There's a, um, um, and it's, you can go into motion scale and make it, say, 50 units. And if you hit play. I welcome this kind of examination, because people have got to know. So that's an example of the cube one. Um, and these are pretty easy to, to work with and to animate and to bring in. And then a, then a uh, one that is pretty cool, the skull one, on your case, uh, uh, let me get here the cranium showing here and, and uh, the hinge showing here. But this is the hinge skull one, which is kind of cute. Let me just maybe bring this gizmo, make the gizmos in here smaller so they don't get in the way. Gizmos, by the way, are like helpers. And So this is the skull one. And let me show you, um, bring the text in here to show you the font. Um, and this one's by rotation and the one I just showed you was by movement so this is a skull so this easily could be your skull it's like here it's like Ron's. there's an old saying in Tennessee I know it's in Texas probably in Tennessee that says <laughs> I, it's rotating now it's pretty exaggerated so let me go in the draw where the the hinge in here the script I'm going to make the motion on that maybe three so it's not as crazy. There's an old saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas. So, in Tennessee, so it'd be Texas. pretty creepy having a bunch of these talking on your haunted scene or whatever. And anyways, that's another one. And the final one I want to show you this morning is uh, the one I'm working with professionally. It's a skinhead. And just let me take this one off. And this was the, the most challenging one. And I didn't expect um, to work. But if you look closely, this is what I'm doing with Lord Beaverbrook. Um, is uh, if you take uh, the the uh, skin, it, it's a lot more complicated in the setup. But you've got a skinhead, and if you look closely, the the armature for the bone 
and they didn't name theirs right either. They should have named, but they got they've got three or four bones in here. But ultimately, this jaw is what's doing it. See that? They've got one, two, three, f four, five bones. Okay, and the jaw one is the one that's using the code. So if you play this, watch. There's an old saying in Tennessee. To I'm the bottom one here. Probably Tennessee. That so fooled me once. Now, again, you can go in and motion scale this. Watch, 20. Now, the reason I like this one. Um, There's an old saying <laughs> in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee. The reason I like this one, I'll just end it there. Those are just some of the examples that they have, is that it provides you with, uh, um, just let me bring back the uh, skin head here again. It provides you a quick way of exaggerating the motion. If you're with a client and they want to exaggerate the head, you can do it real time. Imagine what it would take to go back to Max, redo your morphs for a whole WAV file, and resend it out and bake it. The steps. So what I'm trying to do as a as a uh, pr producer is make it easier to rig. Okay. Now um, UDK has.